Tomorrow, it's the opening of the Mississippi State Fair, where a lot of work went into making sure the ice is cold and the food, the rides, and the games are safe. 12 News' Alex Love joins us now live from the State Fairgrounds in Jackson with some of the precautions ahead of the fair. Alex, good evening. Yes, good evening, everyone. Obviously, the State Fair is so special and unique because of so many creative food and drink options on the menu. But as thousands of people descend onto these small stands, one slip up of proper hygiene could easily spread bacteria. From classic treats like deep fried Oreos and cotton candy to fair pizza and subs, vendors from across the nation are anxious to serve fairgoers. We really get a good a real good joy out of it in all honesty. It kind of like makes my day to be able to come out here and make people happy. But before greeting the smiles of the Mississippi State Fair, every stand selling food must pass a series of health inspections to be permitted to open. We're looking for the same things we look at when we do regular food inspections. We're looking to make sure that people are being careful about keeping their hands clean, that they're keeping the hot foods hot, the cold foods cold that they're being careful not to cross-contaminate. You don't want to have chicken blood dripping on the salad. The department expects over 120 different vendors with creative menu options you won't find anywhere else, but if not handled properly, could make people sick. Anytime that we uh, take off a pair of gloves, we always rewash our hands, put more gloves on. Uh, anytime you come into the stand, that's the first thing you got to do before you touch anything. We wear blue gloves the whole time, fixing anybody's drinks. We will make spot inspections throughout the fair, and we will also, if you are eating there and you see something that you don't think is right, you need to let us know. So far, no vendor has been turned away for failing their first inspection, but the department encourages customers to be on the lookout for these permit stickers to show what the stand's sanitary grade was. This is the marking you give them if they... Now, the number to call if you do see any trouble to notify the Department of Health is 601-576-7689. It's also important to note any food service going on outside the fair gates with no permit as well, that is not allowed either. And real quick, I just want to show you guys a hockey game going on right now behind me. It just shows the enthusiasm and how excited people are kicking off the state fair in less than 24 hours. We will continue our coverage of all this throughout the weeks. For now, reporting live, I'm Alex Love with 12 News. Back to you guys in studio. Thank you, Alex, and thank you for showing us a shot of that ice skating rink. That's going to be quite fun.